in today's video, we're gonna tint my eyebrows. Now I've done this behind the scenes. Um, I've actually used hair dye in the past, but I've never actually used in a product that was literally made for brow tinting. So this is gonna be a first. This was sent to me in a PR package by the brow code with other items. I do have a video dedicated to those other items. So if you haven't seen it, make sure you check it out. Click up here and or check the description box. But the brow code sent over their brow tint kit in the shade natural brown. I'm a little concerned because my hair is darker than like a, like a brown. It comes with a 5ml brow tint, cream activator, 5mls, brow gold, 5mls. I have no idea what a brow gold is. And it also came with a brush and mixing dish. I like that it comes in a little tin can. Let's remove the little slip cover. Packaging, packaging. I will say their packaging like is everything. Here's like their brow wax. They put so much effort into the packaging. Here's the inside of the tin. And then on the opposite side, you have all of this stuff. I hope this is pretty straightforward. Are there instructions is the pregunta. I don't see instructions. I quickly grabbed my Bioderma and I have a clean cotton around here that's can lean the eyebrow. Now keep in mind, like I only have mascara, concealer, and a little bit of illuminator like on the cheeks. I don't have anything else on my face right now. No foundation or nothing. Reason being is because I knew for a fact that I would need like pretty much like clean brows. I didn't want to scare you guys. So I, I, I kind of like concealed the under eyes a little bit. Okay, so I'm going back and forth to make sure I'm cleaning any oils that there may be in my brows. If your brows are oily, I know for a fact the, the tint is not gonna stick. Okay, so step one, done. Step number two, to achieve the best tinting results, you'll need to completely dry your brows and remove all the oils from the skin. We did that already. This would allow the tint to penetrate beneath the surface layer of the skin and stain the brow hairs evenly. I just said that. Now we have to prepare the tint, put approximately a pea size of the tint and a pea size of the activator into the mixing dish. Ensure the ratios are equal parts. Girl, that's the problem with me. I'm terrible with math. <laughs> Here's a little mixing dish. I think it's super cute. It's tiny. I'm, I'm a little concerned because I know for a fact that if this goes wrong, I can either lose my brow hairs, make them even darker than they need. I don't even know what the hell's happening. I'm slightly concerned, okay. So it says poison, keep out of reach of children. It's good to have the notice, like the little alert there, the disclaimer, but at the same time, I'm freaking scared. Okay, so I'm, this, this here happens to be the, it's upside down. <laughs> this here is the little tint. I have to open it with the cap. And then they're saying, ooh, that's kind of light, man. I don't know that that's gonna work. That's pretty light. Look like, I guess, or the size of the piece. Okay, piece size right there. And then they want me to do same thing with the activator. Hmm. So it needs to cut it, but it says ensure it's the same amount. I don't even know if it's gonna be the same amount or not. I pray on it. Here we go. It, it's smeared, but I think, I think it's about the same size. I'm not sure. Let's close these babies up. Do they smell? I'm gonna smell it now. Cause you know, I smell everything over here. It doesn't have a scent. Use the applicator brush to mix the two products together. Mix until a creamy paste is formed. You'll notice the creamy paste develop into a darker shade. I hope so. I hope it gets darker because that's way too light for me. Here we have the little brush. It's kind of cute. It is very cute. It's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. And I'm going to mix it. And I'm going to pray that the shade is actually like darker. So keep mixing and it's going to get darker. Dicker. We'll see what happens. It's not getting darker. It looks pink now. It's kind of like hair dye, right? Usually the hair dye is a certain color and then it gets darker. So we'll see. I feel like there's nothing in there. I think the brush absorbed a lot of it. I'm not sure. What's going on? Use the application brush to carefully apply the mixed tint formulation to one eyebrow at a time. Oh, I think it is getting darker. Okay. Spread the tint through the eyebrows evenly to ensure you're catching all the hairs you want to be colored. Once you've applied the tint to your first brow, use a dry cotton tip to blend the product through. This will evenly and neatly disperse the tint through the, I don't know about that cotton. Oh, okay, maybe. It does look darker. Now it's not pink. We're gonna try this. Wish me luck. It's 
kind of hard to see where it is that I'm putting it. It is getting much darker though. So the thing with brow tinting is that you have to make sure that you get your shape as accurately as possible because if you don't, <laughs> your skin will be stained. Now, can it lift? Absolutely. Just go in with a lot of oily based products. Even olive oil will lift whatever tint is in there. Um, but, you know, you don't sit here and attempt to tint your brows to then just have to put the effort in to take it off. That would suck. With that said, though, this is definitely not permanent. I would say it would, may last just a few days, depending on how often you clean your face, which hopefully it's every single day at least once, at least. It would be great if it was two. Uh, in addition to what products you're using, if you're using oil-based products, then of course, it's going to lift a lot faster. So I would say if you're using oil-based products, it's probably going to last you two to three days, maybe. Okay, that's one eyebrow. This right here is one eyebrow. Of course, I'm not done. I grabbed my Clean Skin Club cotton swabs and I am going to press that tint onto the skin and the hair, being extra careful to just stay within like the inner perimeter of the hair. So I feel like I got my shape right. I'm grabbing a clean one and I'm just gonna clean around the edge to make sure that what I don't want stained, it doesn't get stained. Okay, so far that looks good. I'm gonna leave it alone. I am, oh look, it got so much darker. That's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the other eyebrow. And then I'm gonna go in with another cotton around to press it into the skin and the hair. That was dumb. <laughs> that was a bit much. Now I gotta clean it. I didn't mess up the first one. What happened? Okay, I think that looks decent. I think. Do they match? I'm gonna tell you guys, you need to have a really steady hand if this is something that you're gonna do at home. Because if you don't, that's a problem. And if this is gonna be super dark on me, I'm gonna be upset. I don't even know, am I done? Am I done? Am I, am I done? Uh, okay, now this one looks thicker. Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. Let's see, what's the next step? The intensity of your desired results will alter the duration of how long you leave the tint in. We recommend allowing a minimum of one minute to a max of 10 minutes for your tint to develop. The longer you leave the tint in, the darker the result will be. If you're wanting to achieve an ombre look, remove the tint from the beginning of the brows a few minutes before removing the ends. Should we do that? We should. We might actually do that. Okay, and then the last step when I'm ready to take it off says remove the tint with a dampened cotton around. Wipe the tint off by sweeping out towards the edge of your face. So this way. Do not scrub back and forth. Scrubbing back and forth will completely remove the tint from your skin. So, I mean... Okay, we're gonna wait 10 minutes. Should I wait 10 minutes? No. Five minutes in... No, how many minutes is enough? Because I'm thinking I kind of do one ombre. I'm gonna wait the 10 minutes. It's six... It's 6.30, so I'm gonna say at 6.36, I'm gonna take the first half off, like around here, and then I'm gonna leave it for like another four minutes and we're gonna wait and see what happens. Ah! All right, it is time to remove like the first half of the brow, so it'll be nice and ombre. I'm gonna use one of these to just kind of lift. <gasps> no, wait. I have done this before. Why am I so nervous? Maybe because I've never used this product specifically before. I wanna lift some of the, uh, some of the tint and then i'll go in with a clean one and some um micellar water let's see this one has micellar water let me remove some of the product or all of the product whatever like it's lifting to see what it does in terms of like the ombre effect because if you're not you guys know me i like more of a natural brow natural looking brow i don't want fluffy brows and i don't try to achieve a really dramatic brow. It's just not my vibe. I think my personality is like dramatic enough. All right, I am lifting. I feel like that has lifted enough. Let me eat, eat, eat. Some from there, a little bit from here. And I think I'm gonna leave it alone. Let's do the same thing on the other side. I mean, I don't know what's going on here. I really don't know what's going on here. In full transparency, since I've done this only with like hair dye, I just do not understand. Like, I don't know. I just feel like think this is slightly different. Although it should feel the same. It feels different. 
All right, so I feel like this is looking okay so far, eh, like minus this. Hopefully that comes out. But like the inner portion, like the first half of the brow has tinted and it looks pretty decent. I ain't gonna lie. So I'm gonna wait the additional four minutes and then we'll remove the rest of it and see what in the world we have left. Okay, here we go. I'm nervous. I was reading through the balance of the instructions on like care instructions and all of that jazz and it is literally saying what I suspected. But let me take this completely off so that I can give you guys the 411, the full on feedback. By the way, this looks really good. I'm not mad. Hold on, ooh, ooh, that looks good. That looks really good. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I went in with a dry one to remove any like wetness that's left on my brows. Okay, here's the dealio. Hold on, as per usual, I'm like in La La Land. I'm gonna go ahead and use their brow soap to sculpt my brows while I talk to you guys. Did it stain the brow? It sure as hell did. They're much darker for sure. Was it easy to use? Yes. I at times tend to overcomplicate things in my brain. That's just <laughs> the way I've been built. But it sure was super easy to mix, apply, kind of set up on your brows, pretty much waiting and removing. So the instructions are very straightforward. However, you need to have very steady hands. If you do not, girl, it's gonna take you a mission to make sure that your brows are exactly what you want them to be when it comes off, that's one. And two, it is literally what I explained to you earlier. You need to be very careful with whatever it is that you're applying on your brows. So in terms of using this, you need to avoid brow products. Any products that you apply on it, you do have to remove. Once you remove this said brow products, the tint starts to come off with every wash. It will get lighter. Right now, they are as dark as they're going to be, and then they're just gonna get lighter from here. So it's only gonna last a few days. Also, they advise that you do not wet your brows. Do not expose them to water or anything like that for the first 24 hours, which will be easy for me because I will be filming late tomorrow. But this is definitely not gonna last on me because I film every day. This is good. Their brow soap is really good. Mm. So here's the thing, this is just not gonna last on me solely because I apply makeup every single day. I remove my makeup every single day. I wash my face twice a day, morning and night. So of course this is gonna last me a day or two and then it'll be gone. And that sucks. I will leave my brows alone as you guys, <laughs> they look good right now, so I'm gonna leave them alone and then just wash my face in the morning. But um, yeah, long and short of it is, if you do not apply a lot of makeup and it's just like at random times that you apply makeup but you do want your brows to look phenomenal, then of course, snag this kit, get it done, do it at home, do it for cheaper. And there's so much product in the kit itself, you'll have, I don't know how many applications, but you easily have way more than 10, 15, 20 applications within this one kit. Especially if you have very thin brows and you want them to look a little thicker, or like your hair are very, very fine, or sparse, like I'm very sparse in this area, and then here, then this is definitely you wanna do once or twice a week because it's gonna help you out. It's gonna give you that look that you want without having to fill in your brows. But if you use brow products like every day, or at least five days out of the week, then I would say skip it. I don't think you need this because you're just investing money and time and energy into applying something that's gonna come off in two days because you have to wash your makeup off, right? But I am gonna say that there are other products that I tried in the other video. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you guys go check it out. I really like them. I really, really like them. They work for me and I've actually been gravitating towards those a lot in the past week. Now that I've tinted my brows for the first time ever in public, basically, let me know in the comment section, have you tinted your brows before? Did they turn out well? And if you haven't, are you itching to do it yourself now? And that is a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.